Last episode, we sailed from Prickly Bay to St George's in Grenada. It was our last sail before lockdown. Almost two years ago, we left it all behind for a chance at the sailing adventure of a lifetime. It has not been smooth sailing since then, but together we are learning and laughing our way through. Our hope is that if we laugh long enough, we can make our merry way around the world. And this... This is a Millennial Falcon. Okay, so today is Monday and we arrived yesterday into St. George's. It's a really nice sail actually, it's very lovely. Overnight we've read that uh, some new rules have been... Uh... Hold on, let me get into the dinghy and then I'll update you. I don't think she knows there's, a, there's no dinghy behind her. <laughs> okay. As you are. I woke up today and uh, we only did a little bit of uh, food shopping down at the um, supermarket closest to here and uh, this morning prior to that we read that um, they are the uh, government of Grenada is wanting to quarantine um, their citizens that the, the people of uh, who are currently in Grenada uh, for seven days you can't leave your house unless it's for um, just food shopping and, and medical things um, so because of that it means that we've already had about seven days we've just self quarantined because we figured we may as well on top of that now we also need to add another seven days so we have about three hours until this the whole thing is in place so we're going to enjoy a little bit of time on land maybe about one hour or so because we are allowed one hour of exercise uh, until uh, until the uh, until the quarantine period is in place so we're going to head to the beach now Five feet, five feet. Yeah. Time to go in for some exercise. Is that nice? It was. So your, your one bit of exercise for the next seven Six days? days, seven days. Yeah, in seven days and for the next seven days. <laughs> Still exercise on the boat, we'll just have to get a bit creative. We could make a whole episode out of creative ways to replace gym equipment with your boat. <laughs> Not a bad idea actually. That's a good idea. A sale, pretty much. <laughs> what are we doing now? Uh, go back to the bar, the barbecue. That's what we're doing. We're going back to the boat and uh, grill up some chicken. Have a, have a barbe, a deck barbecue. We haven't had any meat in a few days. So. Day one, commencing in 29, 28 minutes. Oh, it's uh, the first morning of a uh, seven, six day quarantine, which is actually day 14 for us now. Is that right? Day eight. Day eight? No, we did seven days. Oh, I'm so confused. I'm so confused. We've been on the boat for a lot and we're only going ashore for essentials. Last night was a particularly horrible sleep. The swell really put on a show for us and the wind has spun us around 90 degrees. Two sets well and so we're, we've all been launched to the other side of the room at least twice last night. Yeah. How'd you sleep, Kiara? There was sleep. <laughs> <laughs> no, there was not sleep. Uh, it was dreadful. Very bad. I slept in the middle. How was your sleep? I feel like someone hit me with a bat <laughs> multiple times. 
Oh, that was me taking out my frustration because I couldn't sleep. <laughs> How about you, Sean? Sean? No further comments. <laughs> so we've devised, devised an elaborate plan involving a second anchor as a stern, at, well, the main, the, the second anchor off the bow, run to the stern, and then we're going to use a bridle to bring the boat around into the swell. It's going to be a team effort, yep. but I think it's going to work. So that's, that's the morning's mission. All right, so our plan is that we're going to use the secondary anchor chain and our Bruce anchor, and uh, we're going to run it out from the bow. We're going to pop it in the dinghy, take about 60 feet, plonk it along out there, and, uh, and then we're going to tie a bridle to it and uh, winch the boat so that the back of the boat goes that way and we are then facing into the swell. I'm guessing that um, the anchor isn't far out enough for us to point the boat to wind and at the moment we're just managing to like move the front of the boat and that's kind of it. So we really need to have like opposites for the anchor. The front of the bow anchor is here, the stern anchor is there. And I think at the moment the stern anchor is there. So we're not able to get ourselves around enough. It just still needs to be further out. Let's do that. Showing back in? Yeah, Sean, do you want to jump in the dinghy and come around? We're finally almost there. We managed to get the boat around using a bridle. But now the existing anchor is blocking us from moving the rival any further. So now we need to go and do that. What a morning that we've had. Yeah, we're just gonna knock that one out of the park before breakfast. So that was a half hour job. <laughs> Ten past one. And we just got the boat, the boat pointed in the right way. That's ridiculous. Two How many times later. have we tried? We tried twice with the stern anchor, we tried two times with the bridle, finally got it. So if all of that looked like a complete cluster fork to you, um, you're not alone. If you're not already familiar with stern anchoring and anchoring technique, it would definitely look like a complete schmozzle. Um, so I figured that I would just do a quick recap in case you're not already familiar with anchoring, stern anchoring, and, and you didn't know what we were trying to achieve had we got it correct. Uh, this is the Annapolis book of seamanship um, and I have a pretty good picture of how you're supposed to put a stern anchor out when you're underway so you go to your stern anchor position you let that fly then you mo you motor forward to the drop point for your bow anchor you pay back on the bow anchor whilst reeling in the stern anchor road that you have let out on the way to the bow anchor and what we were trying to achieve is we have two anchors on the bow so the main anchor was out and we were going to run the second anchor with the dinghy out this way and then take a uh, take a, a snubber line and run it back to the winch thereby tightening up the snubber line so that we were in essence anchored to the back main winch. The problem we had as we paid out the anchor it ended up just doing this and we let 100 feet of chain get paid out over the distance of about 20 feet but it wasn't coming together for us because of one the depth two the direction and length of line that we let out for the what would have been the stern anchor and three the way we did it with the dinghy um, it just it, it wasn't coming together for us and it was a huge hugely laborious operation so what we ended up doing and I highly recommend this when it's um, moderate to calm conditions is what's called a bridle and this is probably common knowledge to many people but I honestly don't actually see many people out here doing it. You've got your anchor set so what you do is you bring in about 50 feet of chain then you take a second snubber line from the bow and you snub it about here so then you have a, a line back to the rear winch then when you pay out the 50 feet of chain that you had taken in you now end up with this sort of arrangement. So this is your original anchor, then you've got the snubbed line back to the rear winch, and then the boat will sort of swing around facing into the swell, which is what you want. Yeah, it's honestly, it is this, this, the easiest and most effective way thus far that we have found to move the nose of the boat into swell without 
dealing with a whole bunch of ground tackle and and the full the full shamozzle shamozzle that you saw earlier. So far, it's been the most successful option. So the only downside with this is that you present a much larger frontage to the wind, and so you could potentially pull it out quite a, quite a bit harder. But it's been really calm, and it's forecast to stay that way, so it should be alright. He's hoping. He's hoping we have a good night's sleep tonight. Man, we are all overdue one. Oh. Video diary, quarantine, day one. Um, although I might look like I'm sitting on the toilet right now, I, I am sitting on the toilet right now, but I'm not going. So I've hit my head twice just getting from the deck down to here. So you can imagine this is not going to be overly positive for day one. Uh, we took a bit of a whooping last night with the rolling swell and uh, morale was pretty low, which is alarming for me on day one. Today was really, really, really frustrating. Um, we've rocked all night. I think I smacked my head about three times as we rolled up and down and up and down the bed. Um, so we all hooked in and tried to get the bridle sorted out. Uh, this morning, it's supposed to be a 45 minute job before breakfast and ended up taking four hours. I'm gonna say about four hours five hours today trying to sort that problem out and it instantly feels better. Um, fortunately it seems to have worked, touch wood. So for lining, it can only be up from here. Um, I'm still kind of loving where we are, like I look around, I see the beautiful sunsets, we see you know turtles and fish and all of those sorts of things and so I still think we're in the best place that we could be right now. But also a side note, <sighs> I've definitely felt fresher since I've been on the boat and I've definitely been able to run my hair, my fingers through my hair um, most other times in my life up until right now. So. Alright, so in an effort to raise morale, we're playing poker. But it's been decided that we all need to have a costume of at least two items. Two items. Yeah. Alright, let's go. I'm going to keep this straight. I am Miss Mythical today. My name is Ivy. <laughs> Ivy will win. <laughs> I'm Safari Sam. <laughs> I'm CD <seedy> Sean. <laughs> I give nothing away. This is our money for the evening. I haven't got anything at this stage. Okay, Kiara. <laughs> so, Kiara wins. I wasn't even bluffing. I thought I was playing. <laughs> <laughs> if Adam goes out and then Kiara doesn't put one more in, you actually win that back for doing nothing. So, we. <laughs> <laughs> That's a big win. Oh. That's a celebration of a lady who got a full house and didn't even know it. Queen of the All In. The driver was nice, but the other bloke was really awesome. Are they going to other boats though? They're just yeah, like stopped you. at a couple of boats. They seem to keep stopping here though. <sighs> Where's your flag? Which flag? The country flag. There you go. How long have you been here? In St George? In Grenada? Can you just give me a full sentence, please? Yeah. Say, hi, how's your day? I have to ask you a few questions. Okay, no worries. What's the purpose of this? Oh, we're just checking up on everyone and making sure what's going on. Yeah, exactly. Not like, where's your flag? How long have you been here? It's like, 
I'm trying to do the right thing here, mate, but you're not making me want to do what you say. Isolation day two, better than day one, yet to hit my head. Um, what can I say about day two? Day two wasn't really that eventful, if I'm honest. We watched a fish race, which was quite funny. Probably a highlight of not only today, but probably the whole trip. We saw a little fish getting chased by a big fish, like out of the water. They were swimming, they were darting across the front of the boat. They came towards us, and as they disappear out of sight, you just hear this. One of the fishes crashed into the side of the boat, <laughs> which I've never seen happen before, but that was good to watch. Um, we also played poker last night for a little bit of fun. We got all dressed up. Yours truly won after never actually having played poker before. I should probably try and be more productive tomorrow. I, but I swear I also said this yesterday, so just try to keep positive, try to keep productive. We had another little visit from the Coast Guard today. I'm frustrated by the lack of adherence to the quarantine. I wake up in the morning and there's boats just going every which way, like nothing's going on. And here we are sat here, just twiddling our thumbs, trying to stay positive when no one seems to be listening. To boot, we get a daily visit from the Coast Guard who's becoming progressively less friendly. So I expect them tomorrow to pick on another thing. First day was my, my cruising flag, uh, Kersey flag. Second day was my nation flag wasn't upright. Um, so we'll see what tomorrow brings. All right, today I am trying to not be as not lazy but um as procrastinating as i was yesterday so it's 9 a.m and we've started to remove and try to rebed a leaky window that we have how many headbangs on the light is that today two two already <laughs> So the last time we tried to do this in uh, when we were in Puerto Rico, we had many more we, uh, leaky hatches then. But last time we tried to do this, we managed to break one of the pieces of plastic in half, super glued it back together, uh, and then we had a torrential downpour of rain. So it's it's just started raining again, and Kiara's gotten back and seen my my attempt at waterproofing. <laughs> she thought she could do one better. Check this out. <laughs> what you doing over there, Key? <laughs> <laughs> um, but today, today I, I am prepared. I check weather forecast, it's not meant to rain. And I was very, very slow and steady and it's all come out in one piece. Let's hope now we can actually put it back in one piece too. All right, beautiful tape is on. Bedded in. Uh, usual tape did its job and we cleaned it up. So when it did its job, it was uh, all squeezing out the inside and the outside areas, and we uh, cleaned it up. We took all the rest of the um, excess off with a Stanley knife around here, so it's now all pretty and neat. So I'm gonna put the window trimmings back on now. Oh, what does it smell of, Claire? It smells like poop. <laughs> <laughs> we have just discovered off eggs that Ooh. have gone black once they've been boiled and now the entire boat smells like <laughs> egg fart. <laughs> <laughs> so much for our curried egg sandwiches for lunch. Yeah, now, these are going, these are just... Spam sandwiches. <laughs> yeah, so much better. <laughs> I'm just gonna let these air outside so they don't stink out the boat anymore. Oh, that was so bad. That was, yeah, pretty, pretty bad there. It's a very quiet boat this afternoon. After we did the window, um, we all knock her down to some work. I've been making some pizza dough. What are you guys up to? Working. <laughs> Can't hear you. My headphones on. He's not allowed to talk to anyone right no, now. No, I'm a bit bad. <laughs> I'm, trying to, I'm trying to edit, but I've been super distractible because we haven't been anywhere or done anything in two days. So, it's your feet. Getting up every hour or every half hour. Just, what's everyone doing? Got him? 
and everyone's banned me from talking or moving around, so I'm trying to force myself to edit. Before. Get back to work. Yeah. Other than that, it's a good day. We are getting stuff done today. This is good. Pizza for dinner. We're doing vlogs for day three, I think now. We are in day 365 of quarantine. The crew seems to be doing okay. For me, today was pretty good. I, uh, I woke up at like seven-ish. I did a little bit of exercise. Started physical exercise, which is something I've actually been meaning to do for a long time. Um, and then Sean and I immediately kind of got into working on the window, um, rebedding the window. Bear in mind it hasn't actually rained yet, so we haven't quite tested whether it worked, which probably won't, but still, like, nice quick win. I feel personally really productive, I was able to get into a bit of a zone today. Just disappeared into the, into the editing process. Claire, who has her own business, Adam and I uh, both kind of like sat down to like plug away at working. No visit from the Coast Guard today, which brightened up my afternoon. A couple of people were on the beach, but signs of improvement or signs of adherence are beginning to, uh, to show. Made some dough, now we're gonna have some pizzas. And now I'm playing probably the highlight of the day, which is Pizza Boy. Um, I've accepted that the adventure that we started on this year, um, you know, may not come to fruition, but we're on a new adventure and a new journey and that in itself is kind of exciting. So anyway, see you tomorrow.